Hello Ivy League faithful and welcome to week three football highlights here on the Ivy League Digital Network. We start in Philadelphia with one of the most memorable games in Ivy League history. Dartmouth visiting Penn at Franklin Field. Pick up the action here six minutes before halftime. Dartmouth quarterback Dalen Williams is hit and as he's trying to make the throw, scooped up by Penn linebacker David Park. He takes it the distance, 84 yards in total and the Quakers Go into the break with a 14-7 lead. Fourth quarter, Big Green now trailing 21-14. Williams, who had another sensational day. Here he knots the game up at 21 with a two-yard touchdown run. 10-18 left. Here's where it gets interesting. Dartmouth going in for the potential game-winning score. And Penn blocks the field goal. Guess who? David Park again. And we head into overtime. First overtime, teams ex exchange touchdowns. Second overtime, they exchange field goals. Third overtime, they exchange field goals. And then finally, after Dartmouth missed a field goal to start the fourth overtime, this Kyle Wilcox touchdown gives Penn the dramatic 37-31 overtime win in the longest game in Ivy League football history. Wilcox, 18 rushes for 102 yards. Penn quarterback Billy Ragone, 17 for 28, 213 yards. The defending champ Quakers start the league season 1-0. Dartmouth hosts Yale this Saturday. Speaking of the Bulldogs, they go out west and come up with a statement 24-10 win over 18th ranked Cal Poly. Henry Furman ended another solid day, 19 for 33 for 199 yards, two touchdowns. Tyler Varga, another 100 rushing yard performance, 26 carries, 114 yards. Yale is 3-0 for the first time since 2007 when the Bulldogs started 9-0. And as we said, they travel to Dartmouth this Saturday. Brown hosting Rhode Island in a battle for the Governor's Cup Saturday evening in Providence. We pick it up quickly because that's just what the Bears did. They picked it up quickly. First play from scrimmage, John Spoony, 73 yards. And just like that, it is 7-0 Bears. Now third quarter, Patrick Donnelly, option, keeps it. And for the two-yard touchdown run, 24-7 Brown. Bears put the ball game away here. Just under five minutes left in the fourth quarter, Jordan Reisner, 23-yard run makes it 31-7. The final score ends up 31-14, and the Bears retain the Governor's Cup. Donnelly finished 25 for 39, 220 yards. Brown makes the short trip to Bryant this Saturday. We stay in the New England region for another classic overtime game from this weekend. Harvard taking on Holy Cross. Right to the fourth quarter, Crimson down 21-14. Connor Hempel finds Cameron Bray on a 10-yard touchdown pass to tie the game and send it into overtime. Both teams score a touchdown in the first overtime. Now second overtime, third and goal for Harvard. Paul Stanton stopped and then bullies his way into the end zone. 35-28 Harvard. Holy Cross answers with a touchdown, and then third overtime, Crimson defense forces a missed 45-yard Holy Cross field goal, and Stanton runs the ball in for the 17-yard touchdown to give Harvard the victory. The Crimson end a three-game losing streak at Holy Cross. They improve to 3-0 and travel to Ithaca to battle Cornell this Saturday. Princeton and Columbia open up their Ivy League campaign and the Tigers come away with a 53-7 win on Saturday in New Jersey. Princeton offense racks up 629 yards of total offense led by quarterback Quinn Epperly's 19 for 25, 272 yard, four touchdown performance. Three of those touchdowns going to Roman Wilson. Princeton will host Lafayette on Saturday, while Columbia will host Lehigh on the NBC Sports Network. And finally, Ithaca, New York, Cornell welcoming Colgate. A little bit of history in this game as well. End of the first quarter, Cornell quarterback Jeff Matthews throws a 24-yard touchdown to Chris Lenz, ties the ball game up at 7. Now 10-7 Colgate, Cornell, two quick scores at the end of the first half. First one here from Grant Gelotli with the keeper off of the Wildcat formation and then after a Colgate touchdown Jalotli again this time a four yard reception from Matthews Big Red up 20 to 17 at the half but Colgate takes control in a decisive fourth quarter outscoring Cornell 18 to 0 in the final frame 
to come away with the 41 to 20 win. Now back to the history. Matthews with his 351 yards becomes the career passing yards leader in Ivy League football history. He ended the day with 9,303 career yards. It is his 15th 300 yard passing day, another Ivy League record. Cornell Harvard 12:30 Saturday on the Ivy League Digital Network. A reminder to like the Ivy League on Facebook and follow the Ancient Eight on Instagram at Ivy League Sports and on Twitter at Ivy underscore Athletics and at Ivy League Net. We'll see you next week for Around the League highlights on the Ivy League Digital Network.